Hey everybody, how's it going? Mike from the Focus Garage coming at you here today with a quick little driving video in the S3. And today I'm gonna be showcasing what we've been working on the car. Watch out for this guy in the CRV here. In this video, we are going to be showcasing what we've been doing on the S3 over the last couple of weeks here. Now I know if you saw that video when we first purchased the car, you may have seen that this vehicle did not come on the OEM wheels. It was rocking some GTI uh, Austin wheels there with some all season continental tires. And I was kind of having a toss up there as far as what I wanted to do for a summer set of wheels and tires for this car. I had the leftover set of new speeds from the GTI or I go ahead and run the OEM 19s that come on this car. Well, what I wanted to do due to the ride comfort and quality is I wanted to stay with an 18 inch wheel and not step up to the factory 19. So I ended up running my new speed RSE 11s that I was running on the GTI. What I did though, is since they were kind of older, uh, they had some curb rash and some chips on them, is I opted to go ahead and get them powder coated. So I went with a custom finish. I went with something called a metallic bronze, but I added some tint to it, and I also added extra metallic flake. So we'll see in a minute or two here when I get out of the car and I show you what they look like, uh, kind of how they look on the car with this blue color and with kind of the bronze-ish wheel color there, what it all comes together like. I am running a Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tire and they are 255s at all four corners. For those of you MQB kind of wheel spec snobs, it is a 18 by eight and a half inch wheel that I'm running at all four corners with an ET45, but I am running a 10 mil spacer in the rear to kind of go for that flush slash slight poke fitment there. I wanted it to look wide, but not poke out past the fenders. It's about as aggressive as you can get for a uh, wheel size here without it poking out past the fenders or having to worry about anything rubbing or crunching when you drive or anything like that. So uh, we've got the 255 squared uh, with some you know, nice, I think, flush fitment. Something I was worried about was the car looking like it's kind of skyjacking, you know, like it's sitting too high or anything like that, you know, with that more aggressive uh, wheel fitment. And I'll honestly tell you, I'm pretty surprised. I was worried about the car looking like it was gonna just be too high up. And I think the car sits pretty well. Sure, it could benefit from some lowering springs. Uh, we've got about a two to a three finger gap at all four corners, but, it's not as bad as I expected it to look. So we're gonna kind of pull off here into this little forest reserve, head back, and I'll show you guys kind of what it looks like. So here's what I wanted to show you guys is what the car looked like, kind of the height that it's at now on these wheels. So what's neat about them is they look almost black or silver in the daylight, and the sun's not out right now, but there's actually some bronze and kind of metallic flake in that that you can't really see there too well. Again, here's the height of it. It is lower than expected. That is like a dead on two finger gap there. The front has a little bit of reverse rake. That's again, two and a half, three finger gap there. So the car does sit a little bit lower in the rear, which I'm not totally stoked on. But here's that fitment I was talking about. So you can see with the rear fender there, it's very close to being flush. and it's nice and wide looking. So let's go ahead and uh, roll on out of this forest reserve now that we've got the uh, footage that we've needed. Definitely don't want that uh, radio on there because not trying to get hit with a uh, copyright strike, not about that life. Even though we got some uh, 
solid music playing there, but <laughs> let's go for a little drive around here uh, just while we've got a moment here. Um, it is probably about 60 degrees outside, so this is now officially summer tire weather, but I always like to tell everybody that you can thank me for the snow that we're gonna get as soon as I install summer tires because it always seems to work out like that. Every single year, no matter where I live, as soon as I go ahead and throw on the summer tires, uh, it snows right away. So I'm sure that's what we've got to look forward to here now that we've got the summers on, but hey, you know, we'll let it happen. It is what it is. So it's nice to have stickier tires on the car. I went from a 225 uh, with the GTI wheels to a 255 on this. And ironically, I actually feel like these Michelins ride quieter than the Continentals did. Uh, that may be in my head, uh, it may be true, but the car rides very, very nice. The tires have a good feeling to them. I haven't done any kind of sporty or aggressive driving or anything like that yet, but just for my, uh, oh, look at this thing coming. That is sick, man. Nice Camaro following kind of like a chopped tea bucket or something there. Um, I haven't done any kind of aggressive driving, but I can't wait to hit up some curvy roads with this. Uh, being that this car does have the uh, Haldex all-wheel drive system, I haven't found myself kind of lacking for traction or anything like that, but I feel like I'll have even more traction from a dig now and even more cornering grip would I uh, push the car, you know, more aggressively than I normally would. So I'm super excited to kind of see how that all works out. Uh, I think this guy, look at these people out here. They're crazy. Got. Freaking Honda's turning into my turn lane. 18 wheelers spewing stuff out of the way. People not stopping, it's crazy. Anyways, <laughs> I'm really excited how these wheels turned out. Um, I heard you're supposed to get a lot of life out of these tires too. Everyone pretty much says that unless you're seriously tracking your car all the time, which I'm not, this isn't gonna be something that's like a track car, it's, it's my daily. Unless you're seriously tracking your car all the time, the Pilot Sport 4S is the best all round summer tire you can buy because it's got great rain traction. Um, they have good life on them. They're not super loud. Uh, you know, they work in a variety of conditions. So I'm amped to kind of see how that works out. I've never had this tire before. I've run Pilot Super Sports before, um, but the 4S is the latest iteration of, you know, the Michelin Pilot tire. So that's kind of where we are with that. Uh, we've got the 4S tires on this here, and we're gonna kind of see where it takes us throughout the summer. Uh, I think the color, and again, it sucks because you guys couldn't see it that well in the overcast skies that we've got here today. Uh, but I think the color of this wheel works very, very well against the color of this car here. I was finally able to hand wash the car for the first time under my ownership, and I was very excited with the way that turned out. Uh, I think the car looks great. For being a 2016, the car is in even better condition than I expected. There's really like only a couple rock chips on the front of the car, and then we've got like a small scratch and two door dings, which again, you know, it's a used car. You're gonna have issues on anything that you buy that's used, uh, but it exceeded what I was uh, expecting with the vehicle, so I'm super stoked about that. And uh, it was my first chance to hand wash the car. You know, you don't really know the true condition of a car until you can, you know, go ahead, hand wash it, uh, see it in the daylight, you know, without the road salt on it and everything like that. So it's finally starting to feel like mine. You know, we've got the road grime off of it. We've got my own selection of wheel and tire on it. You know, it's nice and cleaned up. Uh, we got the interior looking pretty good here. Um, got my little phone mount, as you may have seen in a recent video there, mounted. The access port wire tucked how I like it. Everything's coming along, and it's funny, it's, again, only 60 degrees, but I'm already starting to realize how badly this car is gonna need an intercooler. Um, I don't know if you can see it here through the camera, but my uh, intake air temps are currently 79 degrees as I'm slowly cruising through this little downtown area here. So with charge temps being that high and it's not even hot outside yet, I can't imagine how bad they're gonna be if I start ripping on the car when it's, you know, 80, 90, 100 degrees the way it gets here in the summer. I'm sure the car is gonna be pulling insane amounts of power uh, once we get to that level there. So, uh, an intercooler is probably in the car's near future. Another neat thing that I wanna try and do with this car is throw a mic setup under the hood, maybe even with a GoPro to hear the turbo noises, just because I was finally able to drive around with the car with the windows down for the first time not too long ago. And I was thoroughly shocked with how much boost noise that this car makes. As you may or may not have already seen, got a turbo inlet pipe and a full 034 Motorsports intake and a turbo muffler delete. So this thing under full tilt makes a lot of boost noises, but due to the resonator delete and the downpipe and the uh, mount inserts that I've got, you don't really get any of that inside the car at all. So I was driving around not hearing any turbo, 
and I roll down the window and you get a nice sensation of, you know, whoosh noises and intake and even a little bit of like partial throttle, uh, you know, blow off valve noises and it's awesome. So that was super cool. I kind of want to share that with you guys here. Uh, at this light here, we'll go ahead and we'll give it a little bit of a gingerly acceleration. It is surprising to me though to hear how different this car sounds from my GTI considering they're very, very similar engines. I don't know if it's the exhaust setup that makes that much of a difference with this particular car versus my GTI or if it's the turbo or something like that, uh, but this is kind of like a more raspy noise versus what my GTI sounded like and I don't really know what to attribute that to. You get to that speed limit real quick in this thing and just there we made 28 pounds of boost so it takes no time getting uh, up to speed in this car uh, and it sounds cool too it's like i don't know i mean <laughs> well maybe an exhaust clip is in the future for this car just to you know mic it up back there and let you hear what the vehicle sounds like i just kind of wanted to take you guys on a little bit of a drive here and show you the new wheel and tire setup let me know what you think in the comments down below. Should I lower the car with lowering springs or coils? This car does ride on the mag ride, so I'm scared to lower it because I don't want to blow these struts and shocks out prematurely. Um, they go for about 750 bucks a piece, but I also don't want to put coilovers on it because it's so nice having the electronically adjustable suspension from this car from regular mode, comfort mode, sport mode. Uh, I leave the car pretty much in comfort mode for the suspension all the time because it just soaks up the bumps uh, you know, without so much of an issue. So I don't know, maybe I would do mag ride specific lowering springs, but the car sits pretty well. I'm not trying to go crazy because it is my daily. Um, it, it's just hard to justify. You know, the older I get, the more I like the comfort and I don't want to kind of sacrifice any of that for the look, but I don't know. Do you think the, the gap is bad? Is it not? Drop it in the comments down below and let me know. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We are going to be having plenty of more S3 content coming up in the future. I can't wait to give Anders Focus a run for its money, and we're going to see how that one plays out. He makes a little bit more horsepower, but I've got the DSG. I've got the all-wheel drive. So it's going to be a close one once we get these cars out to Mexico and uh, give them some runs there. So uh, that's it for this one. I will catch you guys in the next video. As always, have a great one.